Hey, what's going on, fam? I just wanted to make another video where I had a chance over here in Louisiana. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about like what's in your sanitary napkins. Do y'all know? Do y'all know what's really in the sanitary napkins? Not these, but the ones on the market. Well, um, a lot of y'all, did y'all know that these products are bleach white? Yeah, that's right. They're bleach white. They go through an eight-stage bleaching process. But they use chlorine. They use another chemical called dioxin. Dioxin is 100 times stronger than cyanide. Can you imagine that? They're using a product that potentially has chemicals in it that can kill you. We know what some people have used, sanit uh, have used cyanide for. Also, they use chlorine, like I said. Have you heard of acetone? Yeah, acetone is in these products as well. You know, that nail polish remover. Yep, that's in here. Chlormethane. That's another chemical they use to produce tires. Um, there's other chemicals in the product, but we just wanted to let you, I just wanted to let you know a little bit about the process of some of the chemicals that are in here. You know what I'm saying? We have to make sure that our women and girls are protected or at least know what's going on out there and stuff like that because they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. And that's why I'm here to let, let y'all know what's going on and stuff with these products. To send the um, chemicals that's in these products and stuff like that. So be tuned, stay tuned. There's more videos coming, you know, of, of understanding of what's in these products, you know what I'm saying? Because we're tired of our women that are going through these irritabilities during the cycles, like rashes, you know, a lot of it's rayon in the products. So that top layer is called a shaping effect. You know, things are happening. With our women with that, you know, um, tampons, they're not good for our women. They have certain chemicals that are making your cycles longer and stronger. Like I said, you can go to WebMD and Google what's in your sanitary napkins. Google dioxin, you know, and sanitary napkins. There, there's no secret. It's all out there for you to know about what's happening. I'm just here to share and give you a clarity and understanding what's happening out here. And we don't bash no products. That's not what we're doing. We just educating about the chemicals that are in the products that could potentially be causing um, UTIs, bacteria infection, toxic shock syndrome. Uh, yeah, toxic shock syndrome, dealing with tampons. You know, when you plug that waste, after 30 minutes, there's over 30 bacteria just sitting in your uterus wall, you know what I'm saying, in your vaginal wall. And it, just, and it, it starts to cake against your wall system. And that's not a good thing. Um, you wonder about the smells and uh, the pain and stuff. Yeah, that's just all mixing in with your blood, you know, because it's just sitting there. So I just wanted to let you know that we got to get better, you know what I'm saying, of protecting our women and um, protecting our girls and stuff like that. And men, we got to speak up. We got to educate ourselves so we can say, hey, baby, I love you, but you can't wear these products no more. I'm going to spend the money that I need to spend so that you have the best products that you need, have the best experience that you need. And that's just what it is and stuff like that. You know, because no girl or no woman deserves to have to be balled up in a in a corner for the first two or three days because of their cycle, because of the pain. It wasn't never meant to be that painful. It wasn't really meant to be that painful. You know what I'm saying? This is extra pain. Because over a period of time, these chemicals are seeping into the blood system and they're potentially caused a lot of issues that should not be. We even heard in cases of fibroids. They don't even, women don't even know how they got fibroids. We even hear fibroids with young adults, 22 years old. We're hearing about young girls having hysterectomies. You know, we're hearing about women that have the semi-fibroid or don't even know them. They just think they're supposed to bleed that heavy, like a uh, uh, running water faucet. That is not normal. It is not normal. And also another thing that can make your cycle better, you gotta eat better, especially close to your cycle time. You gotta start eating more plant-based, eating more healthier and stuff like that. But we have, through our jewel sanitary napkins, we have a, a treatment system that a lot of women do. Like, you know, they'll start with our, their liners, you know, 10 days before their cycle. And then they'll go into the private need. We've seen a lot of differences with our women, a lot of testimonies. Cycle days going from seven to five, five to three, minimal cramping to no cramping, 
headaches gone and stuff like that. You know, it's a, it's a lot of powerful things that we're doing with our sanitary napkins um, to help our women and girls have a better experience. So we need to go look at some of the things that's in those sanitary napkins and look in the mirror. Could it be possible that I'm going through extra stuff that I don't need to go through? So with that, this is Dr. Lindsay King of Pads out here in Louisiana, handling my business, wanted to share a little knowledge. Please like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. You're gonna get more videos, more interviews, more information about these topics. And I'm standing for the men. I'm standing in the gap for those men. And eventually I know I'm gonna have 10,000 men that's following me that's standing with their women, standing with their girlfriends, standing for their daughters in this fight. So God bless you. Have a beautiful day. We'll talk later. Thank you.